Click Dork back again, and I've got something incredible to show you today. No, not this purely average bar chart that's on the screen. This is just to help so that you're not distracted by looking at bells and whistles and five-dimensional charts that give you back rubs. I want to focus on the metadata about the data. It's one thing to show information to end users. But if they're not confident where that information came from and what it means, they might not actually trust it, which means they might not use it to make decisions on or take actions on to improve what you are hoping that they improve through all your work. Well, the beautiful thing is that as I'm looking at this number of inpatient encounters by department, this is a healthcare type of a chart, I can see numbers great. But how do I know that it's the way I want to rank departments? Or how do I know that I'm counting the right things? It's actually encounters, not patients. Well, I've shown you this before. Click can show you the metadata about your data, including descriptions. This is the internal department name for accounting purposes for encounters. This is the number of encounters. Keep in mind that the same patient may have multiple encounters. Well, that alone might be valuable information to your users. I've shown you those things before. What I want to show you is this beautiful show me the dependencies button. I want to know where this information came from. And so I can see that this field name, department name comes from this field name. This is where it was sourced from. And as I can see, the source is actually an encounters table not a departments table, which I would have assumed it may be from. But even more importantly, I can ask for the lineage. Because as we move data through our data integration pipeline um, and catalog everything, I can track the lineage. So I'd like to see where this department name field comes from. And so I can ask for the lineage and I can see, yep, I'm in the encounters table in my load script. It's the encounters name. And I can take a look here and I can see sure enough, it comes from the GH encounters table in my data mart. And it was called hospital department name there. So I've renamed it obviously in my load script. Um, but we can see it comes from encounters. I can track this back through my transformation step in my pipeline and sure enough I transformed and I named it hospital department name but you can see it's in the departments table and obviously in the modeling for my data mart I chose to denormalize that dimension and roll it right into the fact table itself well I can track this all the way back through my onboarding I can see here it was still in my departments table it was landed in the departments table and you'll notice that at the landing time it was called department underscore name I can track this all the way back to the source of where that information came from so I know exactly where it comes from well I know what you're thinking there's going to be certain end users that care to go all the way back or designers that want to know for sure they can go all the way back but more often than not, it's going to be data workers, data modelers, data architects who care about that lineage. Well, the beautiful thing is, as we go through all that information, and maybe we do extraction steps and transformation steps and layering, and we write that data in a Click application um, through ClickScript to QVD files, I would want to know there, where did this QVD file come from? And so I can click on the lineage here, and I know that it's in the QCDI sales delivery raw. I could see any of the fields if I want to focus on a field, but I can see that that came from my extraction application. It comes from this data mark, the, this transformation step, this storage step, this landing step, and all the way back to the table in SAP that I pulled that information from. You gotta love it. There's nothing prettier than knowing all of that, even for a completely average bar chart. As always, I hope that you have a great day.
Thank you.